Hey guys, I am back for part three of this makeup haul. Um, these items are, like I said in the last video, a hodgepodge of makeup products and tools and stuff like that. Some came from Beauty Supply, Dollar Tree. Um, I actually bought something from an independent seller. So let's dive right on in, hunty. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the Lip Sense lipsticks these are long lasting lip liquid lip colors um when i was competing in the fair one of the ladies that was competing with me her daughter sold these and so i bought a couple colors from her i got a bombshell and purple rain and this is what they look like i think these were popular like on facebook or something at some point in time um but she's been selling them for a couple years now and so i decided to get some so i got a couple of these i have not worn these yet and i'm not gonna swatch them because i'm not ready to actually try them out they're really pretty colors um one's a nude of course as you can see and then one sort of a rosy sort of almost lavender -y color so i'm gonna keep these for like the springtime before i actually crack these open because i don't want them to you know start going bad until i get ready to use those okay so i picked those up and okay we'll do this since these are out okay from the beauty supply um uh, my daughter works at one you know i've mentioned that in the past so they have these mascaras these are uh by starry i think oops almost gonna drop them Starry, I think it is the brand, and it's three times the volume waterproof color lash mascara. So I thought I would try these out. They had several colors, but these were the two that appealed to me the most. So one is this beautiful teal color, and then this other one is a sort of purpley lavender color. Again, I'm not gonna open these up until I get ready to use these, but I will put them in a um face of the day or something so you can see what they look like um so can't wait to try these they were two well they were dollar 99 or two bucks so we'll try these out and see so again that is a beauty supply product um from the dollar tree and i probably should have included this in my little la colors thing but i bought them at different times these were back oh my gosh i think i got these back in the summer or something when they first started getting like new la color items and stuff in well anyway i grabbed um some lashes so i got the demi um that's 982 i'm not a lash person but i do want to try these out um and i like the fact that they're short so they'll just make my lashes look fuller i have decent eyelashes so i don't wear lashes i just use a good mascara <laughs> so that you know i can enhance my own um i also got demure which is 980 and they're a little bit more longer really pretty so we'll see how they work out y'all and then i got diva and they're pretty as well i have a stash of lashes and i am so like not a lash person so i'm thinking about purging some of them um putting them in like a lot or something on poshmark um and getting rid of because i mean they're just sitting there and i'm not using them but i do want to have a couple pair you know just in case i want to do something you know special whatever and i actually got two pair of the demure okay then i got some of this dramatic lash adhesive i got the white color there and i think i got the black too we'll see but i got that as well and let me make sure i don't have any more lash color i mean blue i want to say i did i don't know maybe i didn't Okay, I don't see any more. Well, anyway, I picked up some brushes. I love the brushes from Dollar Tree, especially those wet and wild ones because they work fantastically. I like brushes. I know they have more expensive brushes and all that stuff, honey. I am not a brush fanatic where I got to have these expensive brushes, honey. Give me an Amazon set of brushes in a heartbeat. So, I picked up some of the Wet n Wild brushes, so I got, of course, the Smoky, um, yeah, the Smoky Liner, and then I got the Contour Brush, and then I got the Crease Brush. These work great, y'all. 
you know, I know sometimes they say the tools work, but if you got skills, honey, you can make any kind of tool work. So then I got the large contour concealer brush and then I got a small eyeshadow brush. Now, when they start getting the bigger ones in, you know, the flathead brushes and stuff like that, Donald Trump will be my best friend. <laughs> But anyway, so I picked those up and then I also picked up the mermaid brushes that they had and I was scrambling trying to get these brushes because they were selling out and then honey, they got a whole nother shipment of them. So now they have plenty, at least in my stores and now they have the matching tweezers and eyelash color colors, eyelash curlers to go along with, which I don't need. But I got a set of these. Um, I'm just showing you a couple. Y'all have seen these before. So i um, been saving those because I wanted to show them to you, but hell, y'all have seen those before. <laughs> so anyway, and I got the matching case to go along with them because I was like, if I don't keep them, I could like give this as a nice little gift to one of my girls or something like that. But they're just like me because that's how I raise them, honey. It's not how much you pay for stuff is how you work with it and how you rock it. That's the way I see it. So anyway... Got those. Okay, so now we're gonna move into away. Um, other items that I picked up. Okay, so Wet n Wild Color Icon Single Palettes. I got a black and a white. So one's called Sugar and one's called Panther. So I got those. And these are nice. These are great for doing, you know, dramatic looks and things like that. So, in blending, you know, colors together. So, I got those. Oh, and then I picked up this Kiss Gel Nail Polish. I haven't been doing my nails. I need to. They're growing back in. It's like they'll get long and then they'll all break off and then they'll look like crap for a while. I'm trying to stay away from the acrylics and the gel, stuff like that. I just want my nails to be healthy. Um, you know, I'll get my feet done and stuff like that, but I'm not doing the nail thing anymore. Um, okay, and then you have to maintain them, you know what I'm saying? And it's like if they break, you know, and then they, uh, anyway, let me get off this <laughs> soapbox. Okay, so this gel nail polish is called Partner, I think. Yep, Partner. It's a really pretty, um, deep berry color. So really pretty. So I grabbed that one, and then I got this one, which is Express. And I want to say this is a is not black it's more of a berry color you know what i'm gonna put this one on i don't think it's black because i have been searching Ugh, lord i can't even get it open isn't that sad i'm weak i'm weak okay <laughs> there we go is it black it might be okay because i was looking for black i'm telling this shows you how long i've had this stuff so we're gonna put it on my nail. Ugh, it is black. But it's not the black I was hoping for. I probably can layer it up. There we go. Alright. Yep. And then I'll have to yeah, definitely layer it up. So I got that. And then again, that was from a good old Dollar Tree. So, you know what? I'm going to take this off because I do not want to have one black nail. This looks weird. <laughs> but it is black. Okay. I wanted, I thought it was like a berry color um, initially. But anyway, I wanted a black polish as well. All right. Now, moving on. Okay. Next item are some Amon um, eyeshadow um little singles like this i got these from roses roses had like a sort of bin or a little bucket full of these and so i only found two colors and i've always wanted to try her palettes and stuff like that i want to say i looked up in ulta and got one when i start purging and stuff i'm pretty sure i'll find it but um I uh, wanted to try those, and these were only a dollar. And you know, her stuff's not a dollar by any means. <laughs> so anyway, I grabbed these two. The first one is called Enigma, and it's a blue um, sort of palette. And we're going to swatch these. Make sure I got a clean finger here. So we'll swatch the lighter one and the darker one. 
this is a good pop in your purse kind of thing if you want to touch up throughout the day. So there are those, oh Lord, there, <laughs> there are those two colors right there. And we'll swatch them on the back of my hand. Ow. And there they are. A little fallout with that lighter one right there. So they're cool. Can work with them, I'm assuming. That'll be something you probably have to have a nice base with because they do have some fallout. I'm surprised, but you know, it is what it is. For a dollar, I'm okay. But if I had spent full price and saw that, I don't know. <laughs> okay, make sure I get it back in the right box. Okay. I think that's right. Okay, anywho, the next one is this pretty, oh gosh, this is so pretty. Sort of a pinky rose color. And then this darker color almost looks like a gray, a really deep gray color. Turn my finger off and we'll swipe those. Ew, it has a, a little bit of glitter in the dark one as well. So we'll swatch those right here. Okay, these are nice. I like these. Oh, I like that rose color. There's rose, the rose color and the darker one. And I don't know if you can see the glitter. Yeah, there it is. It's got a little sparkle to it. So it's really cute. But yeah, they're all four of the colors swatched. And again, this one is called mysterious <laughs> I like that mysterious but mysterious is my favorite out of the two I'm trying to make sure I didn't stick them in the wrong box because I may give these uh, to my daughters or something if I decide I don't decide to keep them okay moving along oops moving along Let me see we're at in time okay we're doing good all right I picked up a foundation. I can't wait to try this. This is a Kiss. I'm going to go ahead and take the paper off. This is a Kiss foundation by Kiss New York. It's a Pro Touch liquid foundation. And I have it in the color Toffee. Toffee Caramel Fonse. That's what it says at the bottom. <laughs> oh, upside down. There we go. Toffee Caramel. This was $7.99, so I'm going to do just a little bit of a swatch for you guys. Because um, sometimes we want a nice foundation. We don't want to spend a whole lot for it. And then sometimes the drugstore um, foundations don't have any colors for us. I know some of the lines are um, coming out with colors, you know, for women of color and stuff like that. Or have a better shade range. So anyway, there it is swatched on my finger and I'm just going to put it like right here. You know what? I'm going to do it here over my little red area so you can see what kind of coverage it has. Again, it's uh, Toffee Caramel Fonse and the color is KPLF 325. So let me blend that in with my finger. Now you can see how well it covers y'all because it looked just like this over here when we put it on. And... I'm liking this. I'm really liking that, how it's coloring or covering um, that on my face. Okay. And this is, is it full coverage? Liquid foundation. Pro touch. You see, it doesn't say anything. I don't know if it's medium to full. Well, here, we're going to swatch it on this side too and cover up that. You can see how it's covering the color. I probably need to go ahead and do a full face because I'm going to look like really crazy here in a minute with just <laughs> a little bit of foundation on. Okay, so there we go. And it's, let's see, look at the mirror. It's sort of a almost dewy to matte finish, if that makes sense. But it's really pretty. I think it's a medium coverage because I can still see a little redness coming out. But I'm we'll see if it's a little blendable. Put a little bit more. Or buildable, should I say. A little bit more. On my finger. Okay. Yeah, it is buildable, definitely. But it feels really good. It's not, 
you know how sometimes you can feel foundation on your skin but this is nice i mean look at that y'all and it blends pretty good because you know here i am <laughs> in here and so it's just right in this area so it actually works pretty good um it blends really nicely with my skin tone so it's a really nice color so i'm liking this honey this is seven bucks eight dollars seven ninety nine okay I am mad at y'all. Okay. All right. So, again, I got this from the Beauty Supply. It is the Kiss New York Pro Touch Liquid Foundation. Okay. So, I definitely will be trying this one out the next time I do a full face. And I will let you guys see how that does. So, I'm going to wear this throughout the rest of this video. Oh, there are the eyelash glues in black i knew i had it okay all right let's move into some liners here i think these are lip liners because <sighs> i wanted to restock some lip liners because it's like i'll put them out of purse and then they'll disappear or somebody will come like one of my kids and then get them and then they're gone so i got oh one two three four five six seven eight lip liners again these are all ruby kiss lip liners and they came from the beauty supply so i got i'm trying to see what the colors are y'all because i can't see nothing with these little bitty colors this one's gingerbread so it's a pretty little brown and i'm gonna throw away some of them that i do have because i've had them forever and it's time to do that because they're all open so i got gingerbread i got uh orange orange you glad orange you glad oh lord i'm butchering it orange you glad and then they have a lip brush as well so got that one i'm not gonna open these up yet i got um are you ready which is a red i got pitch black looks like this and sometimes lipsticks call for a nice black liner because you know some just don't work well with darker colors and things like that even lighter shades you need a black liner okay this one is pruneness so of course it's going to be a purpley color hopefully you can see that and the next one is berry jam so this is a deeper of color almost leaning towards the brown side and is this one open yeah that one is i think i did use this when i put it back in the bag so i could haul so there you go it's a really nice rich liner these are really nice liners so you can get a chance to see here how they work so love these the next one is burgundy wine which will probably be a nice little burgundy wine color which it is. I've had these before. And then this one is Fuchsia Fun. So great for spring and summer. It's coming up. So I got that. And these were 99 cents if I'm not mistaken. I want to say they were 99 cents because I'm not going over, you know, too much for a lip liner. I'm sorry. Unless it's like something, you know, I do have some like MAC liners and stuff, but these work just good. Okay. So, now we'll move into some lippies and then we'll be done. These, I think, came from Dollar Tree. These are the City Color B Matte Lipsticks. And they, you remember when they had these. So, I got several of those. I think I got, there's another one. Yeah. I got six. So, the first one was Brick, which is this color still in the package not open then i got maroon which looks like that and y'all know i don't need any lipsticks i really don't need any lipsticks but i just couldn't resist they were a buck oh. anyway so i got queenie which is this pretty color right here and I got taupe, which is this pretty sort of nudie brown color. These look great with like brown liners or berry liners. They look really good, or, you know. 
um, for a nice nude lip. This is Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. You remember that episode of Cheers? I'm telling my age. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, that's Kelly. And then the last one is Latte. And I've actually worn Latte, so I'm going to swatch it for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to actually swatch it next to that liner that I had. So there is Latte next to that brown liner. That's a pretty combination. A dollar for each. A $2 lip right there, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we're down to the final two, I think, of this haul. This is the longest one out of both. Okay, so these are two lipsticks or liquid lipsticks from, and I'm hoping I'm saying this, Ismi. Um, or no, one's from Ismi. This is, and I got this from Beauty Supply. This one is, oh gosh, it doesn't have a color name. Oh, wait a minute. EOS? Yeah, that's what it's called. EOS. And the number is LML385. And so that's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And I've worn this one as well. So I'll go ahead and swatch. It has a really nice doe foot applicator. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to swatch that one. I love this color. And it, I mean, this was, I think, $1.99 if I'm not mistaken. But look at the pigmentation on that. It's a matte lippy. Do you see that? For $1.99. It's going to dry down. And they last forever. I love this. Oh my gosh. Don't sleep on Dollar I mean, not Dollar Tree, but on your beauty supply makeup. Because they have some really nice stuff. Because you remember when YouTube started blowing up with the makeup and stuff. Everybody's running to the beauty supply, getting beauty supply products. And then indie brands became popular. So they kind of got away from the beauty supply stuff. But honey... I didn't. Okay. So the next one is from, um, <clears throat> uh, I guess a company called BYS and this is a metal lip cream lipstick and I am really trying hard to see what this color is. Oh gosh. And I don't have any glasses over here so I can see this. This is 24 karat gold. Okay. So I have not opened this one up, but I'm about to because I'm dying to try this one. All right. So we're going to swatch it. Oh my gosh. And uh, I'm shook. Okay. Here it is swatched. Look at that. That is definitely 24 karat. Okay, anyway, <laughs> isn't that pretty? Oh my God, this is a beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm wearing like that Wet n Wild um, lip gloss, the Cancer. Oh Lord, this sounds weird. <laughs> but anyway, it was a lip gloss that I tried in the previous video. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to put this a little bit on top. Oh, 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 look at that. Now, I will say it has a funky smell. Well, not funky smell, but it has a sort of, not a lip glossy smell. But I'm thinking with the pigments and stuff like that, I've actually, when I tried like a gold lipstick, had a similar smell. So it may have something to do with the pigmentation or something or the how they created the color. But yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh my God. That is beautiful. You see that? That is a really nice gold. That is so pretty. Okay. All right. So I like that. Well, that is it, y'all. That's going to do it for this one. I have one more after this. So, yeah, I can put this stuff up and start my little purge process in here. So, again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these videos. And, uh... To my next one, which is coming right up. <laughs> I will see y'all then. Bye.